So today we're going to talk about how you go about setting up your audio and MIDI devices in Reaper. Uh, so you have to get to the devices uh, preferences panel uh, and there's a couple ways to do that. You could go to options and then preferences or control P and you could also uh, skip right over to your audio settings, audio device settings uh, by clicking in the upper right hand corner with this information. So once you're in this panel uh, there's a couple of options you're gonna see and I'm gonna go through and explain all of those. <coughs> First is the audio system. That's pretty much what type of driver you're using for your audio interface or a sound card. Uh, most times you'll be using Osseo uh, but there's, as you can see, a lot of other driver types that you could use. So just pick the one uh, that's appropriate for your audio interface. Uh, next is the actual driver. Here you pick the driver for your device. Again, the device I'm using is the is an M Audio Fast Track. So I'm going to choose the M Audio USB Osseo driver. <coughs> now you're going to want to have your inputs enabled most of the time because that's what actually gets the sound from your mics or instruments in to your computer. Uh, and what you do is you select the range of inputs. For my device there are only two inputs but you, say you had a device with eight inputs you could choose to only enable the first four so you just pick the first input and the last input and they'll go in order and when inputs and outputs are enabled, that allows you to use them within Reaper to record or send audio back out to speakers or headphones. Uh, so you do the same thing pretty much for the output range. <coughs> and then there's the sample rate and the block size. Uh, the sample rate is how many times, I think it's a second, maybe or a second or a minute I'm not sure uh, the audio that you have is sampled uh, to create the waveform and the block size is block size is pretty much the amount of latency meaning the delay from when the audio is actually put into when like it's recognized by c the computer and latency also affects the output so once it's processed how long it takes for it to get back out to your audio interface uh, now what you should do is request the block size and sample rate from your uh, hardware because if you don't, things could end up out of sync and what will happen is you get a lot of noise and crackles and pops and all that stuff uh, from your audio files. Uh, and you can open up the panel for your driver and actually get some of this information like I could see that it's 44.1 uh, and with 512 milliseconds, well, no, 512 of uh, block size of latency. Uh, <clears throat> so you could take that information and straight up just type it in and, or just have the requested block size and sample rate. Uh, and that's pretty much everything you need to worry about once you get all this set up, everything audio wise should work fine. There's other options depending on like uh, the the speed of your computer or the hardware that you're using where you might want to enable these settings but generally you want to leave these at the default and uh, have the thread priority at the defaults for, default for the device uh, and you don't want to allow projects generally speaking to override the device sample rate because again you could end up with uh, a lot of audio issues. Now on to the MIDI devices which are directly under in the left panel uh, the audio devices. Uh, this is pretty simple because all the MIDI devices that you have plugged into your computer via USB or however else you're getting them to your computer are going to show up here. For example I have a fader port which I don't use for MIDI uh, it's actually a control surface, so it does send MIDI data, but I don't want that uh, affecting the
the MIDI that I use to actually record tracks, so I disable that. How you enable and disable uh, MIDI devices uh, is you right click and then you can enable, when you uncheck it, uh, it'll disable the device and you can enable and it allows you to, uh, <coughs> and that allows you to have the MIDI input uh, come into a track and control a VST plugin or anything else. Now you can also have MIDI output. So say you want to sequence uh, the MIDI data in Reaper and then have it go back out to a MIDI device and have that either play or actually have the audio from that MIDI device, say like some kind of synthesizer play back into your audio device or whatever, you could enable the output of a MIDI device so that that will work for you. Uh, and pre that's pretty much it. If you have any uh, comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and feel free to check out some of my other videos that I've done in the Reaper. Thanks a lot for watching. So what you can do like really easily in Reaper is uh, tap in the beats per minute if you can't like guess it right off the